The Sacramentary of Serapion of Thamuas Greek, Eucologian II Serapionos Thamuaios is a work of Saint Serapion, or Serapion, Florida, ca. 330–360, feast day, March 21, Bishop of Thamuas modern, Tel El Timae in the Nile Delta and a prominent supporter of Athanasius in the struggle against Arianism sometimes called, for his learning, Serapion the Scholastic. He is best known in connection with this prayer book or sacramentary intended for the use of bishops. The sacramentary includes the earliest recorded use of the Sanctus. Life Serapion was Bishop of Thamuas in the Nile Delta from ca. 339 and died after 360 AD. A close friend and protégé of Saint Athanasius, he was in his early life a monk and had been a companion of Saint Antony who had bequeathed one of his two sheepskin cloaks to him. He was sent by Athanasius on a difficult mission to the Emperor Constantius II and had addressed to him a series of letters on the divinity of the Holy Ghost. Serapion composed some literary works including a treatise against the Manichaeus and was probably responsible for compiling the sacramentary which bears his name. Sacramentary This sacramentary, contained in a collection of Egyptian documents in an 11th-century manuscript at the Laura on Mount Athos, was published by A. D. Mitryevskij in 1894, but attracted little attention until independently discovered and published by G. Waberman in 1899. It is a celebrant's book, containing thirty prayers belonging to the Divine Liturgy or Mass 19-30, 1-6, Baptism 7-11, 15-16, Ordination 12-14, Benediction of Oil, Bread and Water 17, and Burial 18, omitting the fixed structural formulae of the rites, the parts of the other ministers, and almost all rubrication, except what is implied in the titles of the prayers. The name of Serapion is prefixed to the anaphora of the Eucharistic celebration I, and to the group 15-18 but whether this indicates authorship is doubtful, for whereas the whole collection is bound together by certain marks of vocabulary, style and thought, 15-18 have characteristics of their own not shared by the anaphora, while no part of the collection shows special affinities with the current works of Serapion. But his name is at least a symbol of probable date and provenance. The theology, which is orthodox so far as it goes, but conservative, and perhaps glancing at Arianism, shows no sign that the Macedonian question has arisen. The doxologies, of a type abandoned by the Orthodox, and by ca. 370 treated by Didymus the Blind of Alexandria as heretical, the apparent presupposition that the population is mainly pagan 1, 20, the exclusive appropriation of the regular Eucharistic observance to Sunday 19, cp. A.T.H. App. C. R. 2, whereas the liturgical observance of Saturday prevailed in Egypt by C.A. 380, the terms in which monasticism is referred to together point to C.A. 350, the occurrence of official interpreters 25 points to a bilingual church, i.e. Syria or Egypt, and certain theological phrases, agenitos epidemia mon catholique ecclesia characteristic of the old Egyptian creed, and the liturgical characteristics, indicate Egypt, while the petition for rains 23, without reference to the Nile rising, points to the delta as distinguished from Upper Egypt. The book is important, therefore, as the earliest liturgical collection on so large a scale, and is belonging to Egypt, where evidence for 4th century ritual is scanty as compared with Syria. The rites form a link between those of the Egyptian church order, a 3rd or early 4th century development of the Hippolytan canons, which are perhaps Egyptian of ca. 260, and later Egyptian rites marking the stage of development reached in Egypt by ca. 350, while exhibiting characteristics of their own. The Mass has the Egyptian notes—a prayer before the lections, elsewhere unknown in the East, an exceptionally weighty body of intercessions after the catechumen's dismissal, followed by a penitential act, probably identical with the exomologesis of Can. Hippel, too, which disappeared in later rites, a setting of the Sanctus found in several Egyptian anaphoras, the close connection of the commemorations of the offerers and of the dead, and the form of the conclusion of the anaphora. The structure of the communion— with a prayer before and prayers of thanksgiving and blessing after shows that Egypt had already developed the common type, otherwise first evidenced in Syria, ca. 375. App. Const. v. 13. 
Among the special characteristics of Serapion are the simplicity of the Sanctus, and of the institution, which lacks the dramatic additions already found in Ap. Kaust, the interpolation of a passage containing a quotation from De-9 between the institutions of the bread and of the chalice, the form of the anamnesis and the invocation of the word, not of the Holy Ghost, to effect consecration. That the Lord's Prayer before communion is not referred to may be only because it is a fixed formula belonging to the structure of the rite. The order of baptism has a form for the consecration of the water, and a preliminary prayer for the candidates, perhaps alluding to their exorcism, a prayer for steadfastness following the renunciation and the confession of faith, the form of anointing with oil, appropriate prayers preceding and following the act of baptism, and the prayer of confirmation, with imposition of the hand, chrism and crossing. All this corresponds to and fills up the outline of the church order and allusions in 4th century writers, and is in line with later Egyptian rites. Forms of ordination are provided only for deacons, presbyters and bishops, the orders of divine institution 12. They are concise, but of the normal type. That for deacons 12 commemorates Saint Stephen, invokes the Holy Ghost, and prays for the gifts qualifying for the diaconate. That for presbyters 13 recalls the Mosaic LXX, invokes the Holy Ghost, and asks for the gifts qualifying for administration, teaching, and the ministry of reconciliation. That for bishops 14 appeals to the mission of our Lord, the election of the apostles, and the apostolic succession, and asks for the divine spirit conferred on prophets and patriarchs, that the subject may feed the flock unblameably and without offense continue in his office. The minor orders, interpreters, readers and subdeacons 25 are evidently, as elsewhere in the middle of the 4th century, appointed without sacramental ordination. The use of exorcised or blessed oil, water and bread is fully illustrated by the lives of the fathers of the desert cp. the Gnostic use, Clem. Al. Excerpta 82. Serapion has a form of benediction of oil and water five offered in the Mass like can. Hippel, and ch. Ord, for oil, probably for the use of individual offerers. A longer form for all three matters 17 perhaps has in view the general needs of the Church in the visitation of the sick. The occurrence in both prayers of the name and the commemoration of the Passion, Resurrection, etc., corresponds with early allusions, in origin and elsewhere, to the usual form of exorcism. For burial of the dead Serapion gives a prayer for the departed and the survivors 18. But the funeral procession is alluded to, Ekamizamenu and in the Mass I, the particular commemoration of departed persons is provided for. Hence we have the elements of the 4th century funeral, as we know it in Egypt and elsewhere, a preliminary office of readings and psalms to which the prayer belongs, the procession with psalmody to the cemetery, the burial and the mass pro domitione. Footnotes Sources and references Topic. D. Mitrievskij in Trudy, Journal of the ECCL, ACAD, of Kiev, 1894, number 2, separately, Kiev, 1894, reviewed by A. Favlov, Chronica Byzantina I. 207-213, C.P. Byzant. Zeicher. I.V. I. 1895, p. 193. G. Waberman in Harnack Gebhardt, Text A. U. Unter such, new series, E. 3b 1899 p. Drews. Uber Wabermans Altchristliche Liturgische Stuck aus d. Kirch Egyptens. In Zeicher, F. Kirchen Geschichte, xx. 4 October 1899, January 1900 F. E. Breitman. The Sacramentary of Serapion of Thamuas. In Journal of Theological Studies, I, and E. October 1899, January 1900 John Wordsworth, Bishop Serapion's Prayer Book, London, SPCK, 1899. P. Batiful in Bulletin de Lit. Echolays. P. 69 SQQ, Toulouse, 1899.